Uh, Jeff, we recently talked to Chris Hadfield, who's the, the commander of ISS, former commander of ISS. He's now got this new venture uh, looking to mine the incredible resources that is our final frontier in space. But how does that change the conventions of, of the day-to-day -day here on Earth for, for fintech, for business applications? What are the implications as we expand you know, our, our interests into space. How does this all tie together with blockchain? Well, uh, how it all t ties together in general is that we've seen over the decades that uh, space is one of the most advanced technological frontiers. And so uh, as we invest in space, which might seem very distant, very far away, those technologies are proven in one of the harshest environments in our universe. And uh, as those technologies are proven, they come back to Earth and uh, literally everything from computers to pencils to shoestrings to uh, nylon and polyester, uh, all of that uh, benefited from uh, space exploration. And so uh, uh, blockchain is no different in that we feel that uh, as it applies to space, one of the components that we looked at the industry we saw was missing. Uh, again, there's this big model of billion dollar satellites, very large operators. And uh, as a result, there was very little competition. And uh, with these new space economics, we can now compete with those much larger providers, which is amazing. It's upending uh, the entire uh, low earth orbit economic model. And, uh, but uh, what uh, there was still a limitation that each satellite was owned by a single person. It was a single jurisdiction. It had a single task. It would point its camera in one direction and do the thing. And uh, what blockchain enables is something that everybody's uh, smartphone uh, has, which is uh, security sandboxes. Everybody's uh, mobile applications, your WhatsApp, your Instagram, etc., they're firewalled away from each other so that uh, WhatsApp cannot steal data from Telegram on your phone. And that's very conscious. It sets up those security parameters, those security fences. Satellites didn't have that. And mm. blockchain brings that to satellites. So with blockchain and our model, space ch uh, spacecraft move from single owner to multi-owner, from single tenant to multi-tenant, from single application to multi-application. And uh, that unlocks so many more uh, economic possibilities, startup possibilities. And so that's, that's that general model, not just space chain, but uh, what other space startups are doing as well is leading to kind of a new space race where uh, startups, entrepreneurs see the opportunity. They also see that now it's accessible to uh, someone who's not a millionaire and uh, yeah. who uh, just has a great idea and they can start a business and uh, succeed. And so these new economic models are uh, 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 combined with this new technology is what blockchain brings. So it's not just economics, not just the tech, it's the fusion of both is what makes blockchain interesting.